All right, what's going on everyone? My name's Glenn. I am Siren's brother. I'm doing a video on her custom config materials um, set up for Vindictus. Uh, this is not a tutorial on how to make your game look pretty. It's just strictly small little tweaks and fixes that you can do on your config materials to try to get as much performance as you can as possible given the limitations of the source engine. So, I have the game open right now. Uh, as you can see in the top right and top left corners, there's an FPS counter. It's running at... This is a par fairly unpopulated channel, but it's running at a fairly steady 60 frames per, per second. I can run around in the city, and as you can see, that is pretty stable at 60 FPS, although there are a few frame dips. There's not too much that you can do about those frame dips, as far as I've been able to see. But, yeah. There are a few issues that are just simply not fixable, as far as I'm aware. Uh, one of the, like, a good example is if you go into channel 1, it'll just lag your ass off. Um, there's also an issue with pets, that the new I set pet seems to make um, everything lag with all those extra particle effects, particularly when she's dancing or doing whatever. Um, the succubus pet does the same thing. Um, there's also a lot of UI problems with the game. A good example is if I open the inventory and I just kind of mouse over anything in here, you'll notice that the frame rate drops down to like, what, what is that, 20 frames per second? Yeah, this game is just not optimized very well. Now again, this is not a guide on how to make the game look pretty. I'm not going to go over any NVIDIA inspector settings. I'm not going to go over any Windows settings. I'm not going to do any of that. This is solely to focus on the config materials.txt. So, um, right, I'm going to tab out over to my resource manager and I'll show you what the core process layout looks like. Now, when you, most of you open this up, you'll probably see that one core will be completely maxed out to 100% and everything else will be running at pretty much zero. Now if you look at mine, this is the entire spectrum. That is all eight of my threads, or Siren's threads, this is her computer, but you'll notice that the spread is actually fairly even. That's because I've gone into the config materials and forced the game to use more multi-core. Um, there are particular commands that you can use that are related to the source engine that let you um, force the game use more more of your threads. Now, Vindictus being Vindictus, those commands are not included. So I'll go over those and I'll show you what worked for us and hopefully that helps you too. Now, really quick, this will not work for everybody. This, uh, yeah, like every computer is very different, so obviously something that worked for her may not work for you. Uh, her computer specs, really quick. She is running a GTX 970, and she has an overclocked 4790K, that's an i7. Um, it's taken up to 4.7 gigahertz. And yeah, I think that's, she's 16 gigabytes of RAM, there's like not really too much to worry about there. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the actual config materials. If you don't know where to find the config materials, file, um, you can find it in wherever your install directory is, you just go into Vindictus, App Data, ENUS, bin, and then there will be a config material.txt. Very important, after you make these changes to the config materials, make sure you right click your config materials and you click this read only option right here. If you don't, and the next time you open the options menu inside of Vindictus, it'll overwrite all of your custom settings and you'll have to do it all over again. So I'm not going to um, uncheck this read-only box. I'm going to leave it the way that it is. So getting into the config materials.txt, um, these top three, you don't really want to change the auto config, the vendor ID, device ID. You don't need to change those. Now your DX level V1 here, this lets you set your DirectX level. You can set that to 
80 would be DirectX 8. Direct, uh, 90 would be DirectX 9. I don't know why she set hers to 90. Uh, I know that she can run all the way up to DirectX 12, but and it'll make like, the game look prettier, but whatever, she reset it to 90. Um, screen width and screen height. This is your resolution. So she is running a 3440 by 1440 monitor, and it's still able to push this pretty stable frame rate, so that's pretty good. Um, most of these other settings, I'm not going to touch on these because they are already included in Vindictus. That includes the most of the body that I'm highlighting right here. Um, but I will touch on this multicore setting here. There are a few settings that you can choose for this. Um, zero is multicore disabled. One, um, I'm not too sure what that was. Two, I'm also not too sure. But three is forcing multicore to always be on. So. If you have any recently um, built PC or anything with like a decent multi-core, multi-threaded um, processor, set that to three. It'll make your game probably run better. Um, our lighting level, that's already included. That's already included. Alpha effects self, that is the particle effects for yourself. Um, alpha control other, that's particle effects for other players. Okay, so threads. Th so we're going to start with the um, settings that are not included with Vindictus. So you'll have to add these in manually by yourself. Threads 8. Now, I, the i7-4790K is a... it has 8 threads in it. So that's why there is threads. There's two tabs here. So you press tab twice. I don't know if the formatting is super important, but it, these are not like normal space bars. You press tab twice, and then you put eight. So this is to you to let my uh, PC know that I have eight threads in my core. Or, sorry, eight threads in the processor. Um, or threaded particles. Now what this uh, setting does is it's pretty, well, if I guess it's kind of obvious. It sets your um, particle renderer to understand to well, not to understand, but to use multi-core settings. And the options for that is zero or one. Zero is disabled. One is enabled. So if you have a multi-core um, processor, set that to one. It will use more core. It will set the particle renderer to use multi-core. Same thing with the threaded renderables here. It does the same thing. Zero is disabled, one is enabled. And that sets your renderables to being multi-core or single core. Now, uh, matte Q mode. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember what matte Q mode does. Okay, so matte Q mode has three options. You can change that to negative one, zero, one, or two. And what each of those does, negative one, that is the default for your system, so that's whatever Vindictus says it is, which is a terrible option, because Vindictus thinks everything is single core these days, and that is obviously not the case. So zero is synchronous single thread, one is a queued single thread, and two is multi-threaded. So if you have, again, a multi-threaded processor, use two. Uh, SND Mix Async. This is a sound renderer. Now, I don't think that this has too much of an impact because I don't think the audio has too many problems in Vindictus, but small things here and there, maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. Um, what this does, if you set it to 1, it'll allow multi-core CPUs to run the sound engine parallel to the renderer. So that can potentially reduce stuttering, it can also potentially uh, improve performance, so in our case, hopefully that gives us more frame rate, more stable frame rate, whatever. Uh, this, These last two are a little bit iffy. Um, so matte forced managed hardware, or texture into hardware, what this does is that it'll force your um, texture information into your video RAM. So if you have like a dedicated video graphics card, it'll force all of the texture information 
into it as you load into a level. And that's like at the start of the level. So think of it as, I, as far as I understand this, I think that loads the entire level, it renders the entire level into your graphics card. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend this for um, people that don't have particularly strong graphics cards. I know that the GTX 970 is kind of outdated at this point, it's several years old, and she's also using it to drive this 1440 monitor, but um, actually she, yeah, she has GPU-Z, no she doesn't have it, but when I was looking at it earlier, uh, I was hovering around 40% usage, so regardless, Vindatus is not a super GPU heavy game, it was probably safe to use it, but I'm not too sure how much of an impact this has. You can try it with 1 or 0 to have it enabled or disabled. Um, maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. Again, the tweaks here may work for everybody, they may not. And the last setting that we have here is the refresh setting. This supposedly... <coughs> sorry about that. Um, this supposedly allows you to set the refresh rate of Vindictus. Now, she has it set to 60, but when we tried to change this up and down, it didn't seem to do anything, so I'm not too sure if this actually does anything for the game. Uh, there's also an FPS underscore max command, which supposedly lets you remove the FPS limiter, but when we tried to do that again, it didn't do anything. So I don't actually think that command works in the mod in this in Vindix's modified source engine. Um, so after you've done all the, these changes, make sure you click save, you'll exit out, and you'll go back to your, you'll right click, right click on the config materials.txt, and make sure you click read only, and click apply, and then click OK. Because again, if you don't do any of that, and you open up your Vindictus in-game options menu, it'll reset all of that, it'll change all your settings, and you'll have to do it all over again. So I think that's it for this guide. Um, hopefully it's helpful, or hopefully it helps some of you out there. Some of the tweaks and fixes out there may not work for everybody, but hey, every little bit helps. Uh, nobody has really covered any of these uh, missing source engine commands, so yeah. Alright, see you guys next time.